This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to create line frames in your photos, which are basically you can just add some uh, like a border around your photos. You can we're going to show you how to do that, and then take it a little bit step further and make it look really nice and make it stand out. Even maybe add your signature to the photo and so forth. So let's have a look here at what we can do. Right. So we have a photo here, just a standard photo with, you know, we're just open. So that's the background layer. And uh, the first thing that we want to do here is just double click on the background layer and transform it into just a regular layer, right? So we just have a basic layer. Now we're going to go and we're going to add a border to this. So we need more space beyond our image. So we need to increase our canvas size. So we need to go to image and canvas size. And now um, you'll see that this image here, for example, is a thousand pixels by 667. What I want to do is add more um, pixels to this image so I can get a bigger border. Easiest way to do that is just to click on the relative here. So we're going to add, uh, for example, uh, let's add in a hundred pixels. So it's going to add 50 pixels on the left, 50 pixels on the right, and top and bottom. So it's relative to the size, right? So it's independent of the size. We're just adding 100 pixels at every direction. So there we are, right? Okay. We're going to bring up our layers palette again here. Now, um, I don't usually like looking at transparencies. So I don't know if you're in the same way. So I'm just going to create another layer here, drag it to the bottom, and fill it with uh, control and backspace, because I'm on black to white here. So control and backspace would fill it to white. So here we are. With we have a nice little white border around our, our photo and we're ready to add our frame. So what we want to do here is just to go ahead and click on control, hold down control and click on the photo. You can see that the hand icon changes to the little marching ants and we're making the selection of the photo. So we're just grabbing the size of the photo, right? The selection of it. Now we're going to create a new layer. So we have three layers at the moment. Our top layer is the empty one. Now we're going to go to edit and stroke. And with that, we can add um, a stroke, which will be adding a line, essentially, around this. And let me select the color like red, for example. I'm going to set a width of 10 pixels, something beefy. Uh, the only problem with the stroke is you, you don't really get uh, a preview. That's the only downside to this. But you can always, uh, you know, click OK. If you don't like it, undo and uh, reselect and do it again. So here you have the option of setting your line inside of the image through the center. So for example, 10 pixels was set five and five. And on the outside, I'm okay with center. Let's just go ahead and click okay. 10 pixels with the color red. So basically that's what it does, right? It added five and five on each side and created a border for us. Now I'm going to deselect this. And uh, here we are. We have a frame, a border frame on our photo. So it looks nice, but let's take it a, a step further. Okay. Let's create another layer and do this again. So we're just going to go ahead and, uh, Control and click on the image layer to make our selection. And now we're going to go again to edit and stroke. And this time I'm going to select a black color. Okay. Leaving the same settings, going to click OK. So I'm going to deselect. Now we have two frames. We have a red one and a black one. Now using what we've learned in the past with layer masks, we're going to add a layer mask to the black layer. Okay. And now, making sure that we are on this first uh, set here for the gradient, using the gradient tool, making sure where everything is as is here, we're going to go ahead and click, shift, and drag to the bottom, like so. So we're doing a... Uh, actually, I'm going to do with the inverse here. I'm going to do black to white. That will probably look nicer. Let's have a look here. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're going from red to black. So it's getting progressively a bit darker, our frame here. So all of a sudden, it's already starting to look a little bit more punchy, a little nicer, I find. And uh, what we can do here as well is use some, um, you can use a layer style. So let's go ahead and go on the red layer style because we're masking out the black, right? The black is being masked out. So what we want to do here is just apply a layer style to the red, which is all there, but being at the bottom here, um, the black is coming on top, right? I'm going to add a drop shadow to the red. And I kind of like the angles to actually be at 140. I sort of like my my shadows to be like this. And I'm going to re decrease the opacity a bit. So it's not so strong. So it's just kind of faint. Okay. So here we are, we've added a nice photo frame to our picture. Now what we can do is, what do you say we sign this picture, huh? So let's select our color to um, white here. 
and I'm going to put in a name here. Let's just a generic name, for example. Um, I'm going to increase the size here. Size is coming pretty small here. Okay. And I'm going to select a nice sort of a script font here. Okay, that'll do. And so there we have it. We have our signature, which we can also add a, a, a layer style, a drop shadow to here. Let's just quickly add a drop shadow. And uh, there we are. We've created a photo frame, uh, even added a signature, and look how much more our uh, photo pops out. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.